Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am decorating my kitchen and living room with some new cottage style decor. I have been having so much fun slowly transitioning my style from modern farmhouse into a more cottagey feel by incorporating thrifted and found antique items. I like to keep fresh flowers in my kitchen, so I'm adding a few simple hydrangeas that I picked up from Trader Joe's today into a pitcher. My five-year-old and I have been growing a cut flower garden from seeds, and it's so exciting because this past week they have grown a ton, and I think in the next week or so we will start to see some blooms and hopefully be able to bring in some of our own flowers that we grew into our kitchen. Give me a reason to get out of bed. I need a minute to think, or maybe two. Cause yesterday I lost control and said some things I felt that you should know. I need a day to clear my mind. One of my favorite ways to achieve a cottage feel in the kitchen is by displaying fresh flowers or greenery with a few antique items. My most recent finds are these beautiful blue ball jars and I thought they looked so nice here by the blue flowers and my Victorian tea tin. I really thought they just tied together very nicely and really brightened up our open pantry. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may, I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I let my worries fade, let them sweep away, there'll be another day tomorrow. I keep repeating the same mistakes. The addition of my glass canisters with these pretty teacups that I'm using in place of a scoop has been another recent ad that is really simple but really adds a ton of charm and makes me so happy whenever I see them. Every shade, there's a million ways to mess things up and I need some time to figure out what to say and make our troubles disappear. I wanted to show you guys our vitamin cabinet. This was a hot mess before I went in and totally decluttered and just got rid of so many bottles. And now all of my vitamins are in this really convenient dispenser. And every single day I just pull out one of these packs and all my vitamins for the day are right inside. Care Of is a wellness brand of vitamins, supplements, and proteins that are all formulated with clean, good for you ingredients that are all backed by science. I went online and took the quiz to determine which supplements were right for me based on my diet, lifestyle, and any health concerns that I had. It was almost like meeting with a virtual nutritionist. They asked questions from my family history to how my energy levels are throughout the day to determine a holistic, approach to my wellness goals. My main focus was on getting more energy and I just wanted to get rid of the feeling of needing a midday nap or coffee just to get me through the last half of the day. Here are the five vitamins that were recommended for me. The first two are my multivitamin and then I have my B complex just to make sure I'm getting in all of my daily vitamins. And then next to that we have iron. I've always been deficient and that really helps with my energy levels. And then the one at the very end is rhodiola. I've never taken that before and I think that is what is making me get through that midday hump. It's supposed to help with stress and also give you more energy as well. It's been almost a month now since I started taking my care of supplements and I noticed such an improvement in my energy level and mental clarity. I don't feel like I need that afternoon cup of coffee just to make it through the day anymore. And I also love that they're shipped to my house every month 
and these daily packets are so convenient. Another really cool thing about these packets is the film is eco-friendly and compostable. You can learn more about how to compost at takecareof.com slash p slash eco. I will leave the link for the quiz in my description box down below so you can head on over and find out which vitamins and supplements Care of recommends for you and also make sure to use my promo code Jessica G 50 for 50% 50 off your first order. I was feeling like it was time for a new look for this space. So I'm taking down the ladder and removing this little chicken nest setup that I've had in my hanging scale since I think I put them in around Easter. Okay, no matter come what may, I'm gonna set things straight tomorrow. I've been collecting vintage china platters and finally have a set of three and thought this wall would be a perfect place to display them. I really had no idea how to hang plates to the wall. So after I did some research, I found a product that had good reviews on Amazon and I'm hoping it will work well for these. Let all our worries fade, let them sweep away, there'll be another day tomorrow. It comes with a piece that you secure to the back of your plate with four hooks and then it also comes with the hanging hardware that goes into your wall. Definitely a hammer would have been preferable for this, but a spoon also can do the trick. I wasn't sure what I wanted to add to my scale, but figured that you can never go wrong with a simple basket with some hanging greenery. I'm loving the simplicity of this wall right now and in the future I may go back and add my ladder but for now just seeing my pretty platters displayed here is bringing me so much joy. I also saw these hyacinth flowers at Trader Joe's today. They come in this beautiful wooden box and they also seem pretty easy to care for. It just says to keep them out of direct sunlight and do not overwater them. So I thought this little corner by my sink would be a perfect place for them. I'm also thinking that these would make a really cute addition to a Mother's Day gift. I love how effortless peg rails are and I'm always changing out the decor on mine. It's just a simple and thoughtful way to display or store useful items around your home. I wanted to add some spring cottage decor to this cloche before styling it on my living room shelves. Here is my current setup. It's not bad, but I just want to simplify it and add in items that give off more of a cottage vibe rather than the modern farmhouse that I have in here currently. I thought this picture on my frame TV was so sweet and serene and I just love the neutral colors of it.
I've had this big basket tray forever now and I've used it in so many different ways around my home, but this is the first time that I'm actually going to be hanging it on the wall. There was a big space to fill on this wall and I thought that this piece would really balance out my two smaller baskets. I'm always getting questions on these little topiaries whenever I share them, so I'm gonna go in and see if I can find them and leave the link for you guys in the description box down below, as well as any of the other items in this space that aren't either thrifted or vintage finds. Glass, books, wood, and white textures, and pops of greenery are my go-to for choosing pieces to style on these living room shelves. I found these two really tarnished pheasants at Goodwill and I showed over on my Instagram a reel of how I clean them up and just totally transform them back to their natural shine and beauty. I'll go ahead and leave my Instagram handle here if you want to follow along for more behind the scenes and just real time inspiration. I'm going in with a few pillows on our couch and love seat, but honestly, my kids just end up throwing them on the floor. So in this season of my life, pillows are just not the most practical thing. Adding in some cottage style decor to my living room has been on my list for a while and I love how it feels in here. It's just so simple and bright and cozy. I've also been waiting to display my platters on the wall for a while now and I'm so glad that I was able to find a safe way to get those hung up as well. I hope today's video gave you some decorating ideas and inspiration. I also have three makeovers coming to my channel very soon. It's going to be our back patio, my daughter's room, and our master bedroom. So make sure you are subscribed with a notification bell on so you never miss an upload. Thank you so much for watching today and make sure to check out Care Of and take the quiz that will be linked in my description box down below. I hope you all have an amazing day.